technically could I could technically read something. <laughs> so Eric Oh, and actually, we have the International Space Station flying over right now. So they are actually seeing not one, but two views of the eclipse. They're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the sun, but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth. Hello, friends. 2024 total solar eclipse. The moon's shadow or umbra is pictured covering portion of Canada and the U.S., as the International Space Station showed into the total solar eclipse from 261 miles above on 8th April 2024. It's, it's, um, it's amazing, even though we're in you know, the total shadow, right. here, it's, there's still the corona is still pretty bright. It's incredibly you, bright. You could read by the light of the corona. <laughs> I yeah. think I would have some <laughs> trouble reading, but I probably could. I could technically read something. <laughs> so, Eric. Oh, and actually, we have the International Space Station flying over right now. So they are actually seeing not one, but two views of the eclipse. They're able to see not just the moon passing in front of the sun, but they're also able to see the shadow of the moon passing over Earth, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, I can hardly imagine a view being better than the one we have right now. But if there is one, well, it's, it's yeah, the space station, it's from yeah. the space station for sure. <laughs> Wow. So, yes, they're able to take some pictures of that. Um, and that is just incredible. Just incredible. It, I, uh, one, one of the things they told people to do if you're far away was to hear how nature changed. And it was yes. interesting here. We're, of course, surrounded by a lot of people just to hear their <laughs> reaction when we went into totality. It's true. The humans in nature have not gotten quieter, but louder, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> But, I mean, you can definitely hear the, the loudness has a different kind of character to it. There's yeah. almost like a, yeah. I mean, I don't know if wonder has a sound, but I think yeah. this might be yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, hushed awe. Yes, yeah. hushed awe. <laughs> That's wonderful. And I can see just one um, little red, I guess, like, yeah, protrusion yeah, coming little, down little there. Yeah, red spots almost. I noticed those, too. That's cool. Now there are two. Yeah. Wow. That is just so cool. Yeah, I like the, the 360 sunset. It's, it's a little hard to see behind us, but it's... Uh, <laughs> oh, we've yeah. got at least one, one there, or two drones. <laughs> yeah, some... Uh, our robot overlords. Are, uh, of course. And so, Eric, I know that, I mean, clearly with the drones, people are starting to get involved in the eclipse, and I know that there are lots of ways that people can actually get involved. One mm -hmm. of those ways is with citizen science. Right.